Greetings, everybody. Turn your King James Bible to the book of Isaiah, chapter 50. This is going to be the continuation of the Isaiah series commentary. Verse 1. Oh, this is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries in John 8, 12. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Verse 1. Thus saith the Lord, Where is the bill of your mother's divorcement? Yes, where is the bill of your mother's divorcement, whom I have put away? Or which of my creditors is it to whom I have sold you? Behold, for your iniquities have ye sold yourselves, and for your transgressions is your mother put away. Well, where is the bill of your mother's divorcement found? Jeremiah, chapter 3 and verse 8. And I saw when for all the causes, what causes? Their rebellion and their sin against the Lord. And I saw when for all the causes whereby backsliding Israel committed adultery, spiritual adultery, I had put her away and given her a bill of divorce. Wow. And I saw when for all the causes whereby backsliding Israel committed adultery, I had put her away and given her a bill of divorce. Yet her treacherous sister Judah feared not, but went and played the harlot or whore also. Let's go back to Isaiah chapter 50. Verse 1, Thus saith the Lord, Where is the bill of your mother's divorcement? Jeremiah 3, 8, right? Whom I have put away, or which of my creditors is it to whom I have sold you? Behold, for your iniquities, or sin, have ye sold yourselves, and for your transgressions is your mother put away. Verse 2, Wherefore, when I came, was there no man? When I called, was there none to answer? Is my hand shortened at all that it cannot redeem? Or have I no power to deliver? Behold, at my rebuke I dry up the sea. I make the rivers a wilderness. Their fish stinketh because there is no water and dieth for thirst. I clothe the heavens with blackness and I make sackcloth their covering. The Lord God hath given me the tongue of the learned, that I should know how to speak a word in season to him that is weary. He wakeneth morning by morning, morning. He wakeneth morning by morning. He wakeneth mine ear to hear as the learning. The Lord God hath opened mine ear, and I was not rebellious, neither turned away back. Now, I believe that verse 6 is somewhat of, it, it probably applies to Isaiah, but it, I believe it also has reference as a messianic prophecy. I gave my back to the smiters and my cheeks to them that plucked off the hair. I hid not my face from shame and spitting. Okay, where do we read about this in the Bible? Mark fifteen fifteen. And so Pilate, willing to content the people, released Barabbas unto them and delivered Jesus when he had scourged him to be crucified. What does it mean to be scourged? Whipped. John 19, 1. Then Pilate therefore took Jesus and scourged him. Okay. Now, in Matthew 26 and verse 67, then did they spit in his face and buffeted him 
and others smote him with the palms of their hands. Matthew 27, 30. And they spit upon him and took the reed and smote him on the head. In Mark 16, I'm sorry, Mark 14, 65. And some began to spit on him and to cover his face and to buffet him and to say unto him, Prophesy! And the servants did strike him with the palms of their hands. Mark 15, 19. And they smote him on the head with a reed and did spit upon him and bowing their knees, worshiping, uh, worshipped him. So they were mocking him. So back to Isaiah 50 and verse 6. I gave my back to the smiters and my cheeks to them that plucked off the hair. I hid not my face from shame and spitting. I couldn't find it offhand, but uh, they, they ripped the hair off of Christ. I believe his beard. I can't find it in the Bible, but... Uh, I know they did it. I know they did that. So perhaps somebody can help me find that. Verse 7. For the Lord will help me, therefore shall I not be confounded. Therefore have I set my face like a flint, and I know that I shall not be ashamed. He is near that justifieth me. Who will contend with me? Let us stand together. Who is mine adversary? Let him come near to me. Behold, the Lord will help me. Who is he that shall condemn me? Lo, they all shall wax old as a garment. The moth shall eat them up. Who is among you that feareth the Lord, that obeyeth the voice of his servant, that walketh in darkness and hath no light? Let him trust in the name of the Lord and stay upon his God. Behold, all ye that kindle a fire, that compass yourselves about with sparks. Walk in the light of your fire and in the sparks that ye have kindled. This shall ye have of mine hand. Ye shall lie down in sorrow. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and his only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. In Jesus' precious name, amen.